Let us now discuss about the tube length of a compound microscope. About a compound microscope, this tube length can be written as the distance between objective and eyepiece of the microscope. That is the tube in which objective and eyepiece are fitted. And the separation between the two lenses of microscope we term as the tube length. And again, there are two cases of tube length we'll study. Case one is the situation one image is produced at near point. In this situation, if we just have a look on the optical setup, it was like uh, one, this is the eyepiece lens and this is the objective lens. And in this situation, an object is placed at a distance u from the objective lens. It produces an image, intermediate image somewhere here, which is having a size h prime. And by this object, say the image produced it at a distance v. And is located at a distance ue such that the final image which is being produced by the eyepiece is being obtained somewhere here, which is located at a distance of near point with respect to the observer's eye into which the final light rays are falling. And if this is the final image, then we can simply state in this situation. The tube length would be the distance between the two lenses, it is termed as L. And here we can write tube length L is equals to V plus UE. And the values of V and UE we can easily substitute in terms of FO, FE, and U, the object distance from the objective which we already calculated. Here the value of V we can write as U F O by U minus F O plus uh, the object distance, the distance of intermediate image from eyepiece U E we can write as uh, D F E over D plus F E. So this is the tube length we use in case of images produced at near point in a compound microscope. Similarly, if we talk about its case two, one image is produced at far point. In this situation, we know that final image we consider to be produced at infinity. And in this situation, if this is the object located at a distance u from the objective lens, then uh, the intermediate image, if it is produced somewhere here, then we consider for final image to be produced at infinity, this must be located at a distance f e from the eyepiece lens because when an object is placed in focal plane of a lens, its image is obtained at infinity. So in this situation here you can see the light rays which are refracting from the eyepiece lens are getting parallel after refraction. So the final image is obtained at infinity. Now in this situation here you can see the tube length L the separation between the objective and eyepiece lens can be written as uh, the tube length we can write as L is equals to V plus F E and the value of V again we can substitute. So the value of L is U F O by U minus F O plus F E. So this is the tube length we use in case of uh, final image at far point and this is the tube length in case of compound microscope uh, if uh, the final image is to be produced uh, at near point.